Hello everyone. So today I wanted to talk to you about the role that DNA activation plays in our manifestation experience. So when I speak, I come from the lensing of channeling Lemurian manifestation, which is a different process. It's a different almost philosophy than typical manifestation teachings out there. So first, let's get clear on what we're talking about when we're talking about manifestation. From the perspective of Lemurian manifestation, what we are manifesting is heaven on earth. Our own experience of heaven on earth as well as the experience of heaven on earth for the collective, okay? So in typical manifestation teachings, it's very, um, it's almost very like external outcome oriented one by one. Like, okay, I want a certain amount of money and I want, you know, a relationship and I want to manifest, you know, a house and kind of these very specific. But when we go into Lemurian manifestation, we're really looking at the big picture of why our souls really incarnated here. And if you're watching this, you're one of the souls that incarnated here to co-create heaven on earth and to literally bring the higher realm coding frequencies of the heavenly realms into earthly bodies and the physical experience. So that is a long-term vision and it's something that we activate and manifest through our own lives manifesting heaven on earth. Now, how do we go about doing this? From a Lemurian perspective, we really want to look at activating our DNA. So, understanding that we have this carbon-based DNA that our ancestors have had for thousands of years and our DNA was actually tampered with when we were living in the golden ages of Lemuria and Atlantis we had this 12 strand divine crystalline activated DNA and in the fall of Atlantis and as different beings begin to tamper with our DNA, it became this two strand carbon based DNA, which became very porous to imprinting with traumatic experiences and coding that is less than unconditional love. So think about your DNA being the software, like on your computer, if the software, if there's a bug in the software, something is wonky with the software, the computer is going to be wonky. It's not going to work that well. Even though there might not be anything wrong with the hardware, the actual computer, if the coding of the software is off, it will show up on the whole computer. So think about your DNA being that coding. And if we have this carbon-based DNA coding that vibrates with survival, trauma, lack, dis-ease, then what happens is that as the light of consciousness vibrates through our being and moves through our DNA, and by the way, DNA isn't just a physical marker. It doesn't just create physical attributes within ourselves. It actually helps to create our whole light field and our aura as well. It's a multidimensional being, really, consciousness, DNA. So as the light of our consciousness moves through our beings and goes through carbon-based DNA, that energy starts to run on the patterns, the coding of scarcity, lack, dis-ease, etc. And so we can be visualizing and we can be intending and wanting things in our lives that are really amazing. But if we are running this carbon-based DNA, it's going to be like we're, we're swimming upstream. It's going to feel so challenging uh, and ultimately isn't really the best pathway because as beings, as these creative, intuitive souls that are coming here to create heaven on earth, what we remember eventually is that we need to turn on that crystalline divine DNA. We need to activate the true divine software of the codes in the crystalline DNA are, you know, divine abundance, divine love, divine health, 
divine courage, divine trust, divine power, our divine gifts, our spiritual gifts, our psychic gifts. And when we turn on this divine DNA, when the light of our consciousness moves through our being and goes through that software, it ends up projecting outward holograms and energies that are of that nature. So how I see it, when we have our carbon-based DNA and the light of source of our soul comes and streams through it, the carbon-based DNA is quite contracted. Not a whole lot of light can actually move through that carbon-based DNA. When I see the light of our consciousness moving through our crystalline activated divine DNA, it's like I can see the strands of DNA becoming this open golden doorway. And the amount of light that is able to come out of our DNA and just illuminate our whole fields and our reality with that divine coding is massive. So when we're talking about Lemurian manifestation, one of the things that we're talking about is actually DNA activation. It's really, really key. So we're going to be doing a lot of DNA activation in my new four-week course that I'm really excited about, Lemurian Manifestation. Now, there are multiple ways that you can activate your divine DNA. And in Lemurian Manifestation, and what I teach and what I practice is, well, one, working with colors, the living consciousness of color as we did in Lemuria, to activate the qualities of our divine DNA. So I might work with a pink ray or a pink flame or an emerald flame or golden light, depending on which qualities of divine DNA I want to activate because different colors will support the activation of different sequencing and codes in the divine genome. For example, pink is going to resonate really strongly with divine love and divine mother energy. And those codes are going to activate strongly when we bring pink into the DNA and visualize it and command it through the DNA. Gold is really powerful. It's kind of an all healer, but it also really resonates with divine abundance. So in Lemurian Manifestation, I have a... a 40 minute transmission and meditation for you where you'll actually visualize your DNA and see golden energy move through the DNA to activate the coding, that software of divine abundance within. So color is one of the ways that I teach and I work with activating divine uh, DNA. One of my favorites too is we work with the dolphins. Actually, dolphins hold the crystalline genome, the crystalline divine DNA blueprint, the fifth dimensional divine blueprint for humanity. And dolphins are so closely related to us. They are brothers and sisters in the sea. And they are holding that fifth dimensional crystalline divine blueprint until humanity, we can hold it for ourselves. So doing us a great, great service. So we also work with, we can also work with dolphins and you will work with dolphins if you join Lemurian Manifestation to activate the divine DNA because in the quantum they can come support us as multidimensional beings to activate this divine DNA. So let's take a moment and let's just do one of the pieces that I mentioned. Let's work with, let's say golden light. Let's just do a quick divine DNA activation here, uh, just so you can kind of get the feel of it, of what I'm talking about. So if you want to close your eyes for this divine abundance DNA activation, calling in your higher self to flow through your whole being now, higher self, thank you for filling me now. And imagine now a strand of DNA, a helix, a DNA helix in front of you and calling forth a golden light, the golden light of divine abundance from the heart of Mother, Father, God and seeing that golden light moving through the strands of your DNA, the full DNA helix, as you say out loud, 
by the power of my I am presence. I activate the codes of divine abundance in my crystalline DNA now. All right, taking a deep breath, coming back, and that's just like a little tiny, tiny, you know, bit. You could do that for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and just kind of explore the DNA and get that golden light into the different strands and then see it moving through your whole body. Again, we do this in Lemurian Manifestation. We are going to do a whole lot in this four-week journey, so I'm really excited about it. So if you feel called, if you're resonant, like this is especially for the Lemurian souls, the beings who know they're here to create heaven on earth, but haven't felt really fully satisfied with the manifestation teachings out there. You know, for me personally, as a Lemurian watery mermaid soul, a lot of those teachings feel way too controlling to me. And... In Lemurian Manifestation, we really co-create just with pure source consciousness and coding so that we are running the software of heaven on earth. And then as the light of consciousness streams through, it just naturally creates it without us having to grip on it and micromanage it and just be really a bit cray cray. So if this appeals to you, we start on June 12th. Uh, I'm so excited. And if you're seeing this after, it will be available as a self-study journey uh, later on in the year. So you can check that out. Uh, but we start June 12th uh, coming up. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions.